Well, anyway, Governor, I want to ask you about one other thing about Ashton Kutcher, the actor and President Obama supporter, surprising many conservatives with his pro-work speech to teens. Here it is. My name is actually not even Ashton. Ashton is my middle name. My first name's Chris. And, and it always has been. And I, it got changed when I was like 19 and I became an actor. But there were some really amazing things that I learned when I was Chris. And I wanted to share those things with you guys because I think it, it's helped me be here today. So it's really three things. The first thing is about opportunity. The second thing is about being sexy. And the third thing is about living life. So first, opportunity. I believe that opportunity looks a lot like hard work. When I was 13, I had my first job with my dad carrying shingles up to the roof. And then I got a job washing dishes at a restaurant. And then I got a job in a grocery store deli. And then I got a job in a factory sweeping Cheerio dust off the ground. And I've never had a job in my life that I was better than. I was always just lucky to have a job. And every job I had was a stepping stone to my next job. And I never quit my job until I had my next job. And so opportunities look a lot like work. Governor, your thoughts about uh, Ashton Kutcher's uh, little speech? That was beautiful. That was inspiring. I, I think Ashton is going to help make the idea of wanting to work cool again. Uh, I appreciated that he was so bold in speaking truth to power there to the youth of America. We, more Americans in, in this younger generation, they, they need to hear this, that man was created to work. That's where we get our, our sense of self and, and this productivity that's so needed, not just economically, but emotionally, spiritually, psychologically in our country, lifting up the worker. His speech was all about that blue collar, you know, car hearts and steel toed boots that so many of us respect. I respected his speech. I hope we hear more of it coming out of Hollywood. You know, I would hope that people would, so young people especially, think, sort of emulate it um, and think that, well, you know, one good way to success is sort of to work hard, even at a young age. I mean, I think that he was carrying around shingles or something for his father on a work site at age 13. Then he went to washing dishes and, as you say, making work cool. Uh, you know, it really does, it would be, you know, I don't know how many families still have chores uh, for their children uh, with the sort of the disintegration of the American family. Uh, you know, I would probably have less of that. Uh, but it certainly would be uh, a rather helpful thing to our culture if we all developed, a, you know, a, more of a commitment to, to a work ethic. Of course, I will be a little sarcastic and say Congress is on vacation for a week and Samantha Power, the ambassador, <laughs> couldn't make it back for an emergency meeting. So uh, we, got a, we got a lot of work to do to set examples. Got a lot of work to do, but, uh, you know, this is a step greatly appreciated coming out of Hollywood. I think a lot of that is those um, heartland roots that are in Ashton Kutcher. You know, he, he grew up in, in the heartland, and they, like they say, you know, you can, you can take Iowa out of the boy. You can take the boy out of Iowa, but you can't take Iowa out of the boy. Maybe that's some, um, some manifestation of that. I love it.